guys what's going on so we are finally back with the part two of the regrooving video if you haven't seen part one go ahead and check that out first come on back um, so in this one I'm going to attach a video clip I forgot to put in the first one of um, kind of installing the blade onto the regrooving gun and then we'll get into uh, regrooving these two tires I've got which are um, a 245 70 19 5 and a 225 70 19 all right so our first tire here is a 225 70 19.5 mile star tire we're going to be doing is a 245 70 19 5 michelin all right we have the 225 here and the 245 here uh, a lot of questions i get asked is how deep can you cut these tires um, so first of all, you must know that on a steer tire, um, you can be no less than 430 seconds on a steer, and then on a drive and a trailer, it's no less than 230 seconds. So, go with this Michelin here. Looks like we're at 6 on this outside. This inside is probably going to be closer to 2. Yep. So basically we're 4, 2.30 seconds, and 6. Um, and then this one here, looking at about 4, close to 5, about 4, and the same, about 4. So we'll go ahead and put a 4.30 seconds so we know this was 230 seconds in the center and I believe this was six uh, about six six thirty seconds out here and then this one was uh, pretty close to four so you got four thirty seconds out here two six and then this is about four all the way across one thing to note too is kind of hard to see but right here these are your wear bar marks mostly all tires have them they're in between the treads that's usually when you have just about 230 seconds left where this one is almost worn across even not quite but um, this is a good way to tell where you're at on the uh, tread these are on um, medium truck all the way down to passenger tires uh, they're called wear bar marks all right so for here you can see I've got this is a number four blade and then a number three blade so probably this one number three is gonna match up a lot better than number four will just be too much if I think if you go down to a number two blade um, it'd be just too narrow we're on the Michelin here this is probably definitely a four on the outside and then if you wanted to switch it up, you can do a um, three in the centers, or you could just do four all the way across. All right, here you have the regrooving gun. As you can see, two slides right here uh, by Allen Bolts. They seem to wear out sometimes. You can go to the local hardware store and replace those. Turn this over. This is the part that will actually uh, slide on top of the tire. And as you can see, you have two different grooves on each one the smaller grooves would be more for like the smaller blade like the number one basically everything else would go into bigger grooves I use this as the centering line remember put the blade the sharper end goes away from you because you're going to be pushing this so slide that in like that don't squeeze these or anything just push it it's gonna look something like this if you need to be precise you can use your tread gauge here and kind to um, put how deep you want to cut it we're gonna say we're gonna do about this deep got be there kind of center it and then we'll go ahead and tighten all right all right 
lights on the regrooving blade we've got number four now the question is big question how deep now 245s 225s they usually come I'd say about average 17 30 seconds new somewhere in there depending if it's a lug or or um, an all position but let's just say average about 17 you're not gonna get to 17 again you're already down here to where it's pretty much out of service um, so I'm going off of experience and we'll check it in just a minute but 430 seconds I mean the uh, number four blade here I'm gonna say somewhere right about there if you see that and then we'll check it with a 30 seconds so about 630 seconds we're gonna cut now because this is 630 seconds here we're not gonna really take nothing off we could do it here um, and then we'll have even all the way across 630 seconds so we'll start out with this see here it's not gonna do anything but then here in the center let's see what it does how much took off there do another one here took off about the same there six there where we started there's six there six there and this one is right about at seven so you see it's almost evenly the same way across um, I didn't change the blade I just used the same number four all of them are gonna look about the same um, and this tire, once you do the whole tire, you can kind of return back to service, return it back to service, um, and it'll last you a little bit longer. So let's move on to this one here. Change the blade. All right, number three blade is back on. Let's see. I'm gonna say about right in there. about 6.30 seconds so remember we've already got four so we're just gonna cut two off um, I could probably go a little deeper but just for the purpose of the video I'm gonna go with this 6.30 seconds just barely taking anything off Thirty seconds to start out with. And we got close to seven, so just six, six to, to seven. That's six there. 
we're close to about six ish right across there now next thing is can you go deeper yes you can go a little deeper what will happen if you go too deep you will go into the steel belts um, which I'll show you that in a second and the tire will be no good by the way both of these tires are um, are not good anyway so they're both junk so we're just kind of experimenting here to just show you what that what it looks like alright guys I just wanted to add this one little part to the video um, I went ahead and adjusted the blade to cut down as deep as I could when I hit the steel belts um, get a little closer so what happens when you get too deep you can start to see the steel belts in there that's what those little lines are in there you can see it there so this is a perfect example of cutting too deep but it's also a um, a good show for some of you drivers that are out there buying used tires and stuff if you see a tire that like that that's gone way too far you got to be two thirty seconds above the steel belts um, and if you remember in my other video you start to see the lines and the grooves that means that that blade there is um has gotten nicked or a little damaged um, and then when I was cutting this if you seen the smoke that was coming off the blade um, that means I wasn't cutting enough rubber and the temperature was too hot so I should have just turned it down a notch because um, here's another thing I wanted to show you guys too while we're in talking about that now if you remember last video when you push this in and it clicks that's when it engages the heat if you hold it in too long it'll burn the blade up which let's see if we can show you so I'm gonna try to burn it up right here just keep an eye on here it'll turn red hot and it'll start to do that and then just break see that so that'll happen if you have it too hot not cutting deep enough or um, just keep it depressed too long that's what will happen there um, somebody was asking me about regrooving 19.5's was it worth it they had a fleet um, they wanted to get a they were thinking about investing in a regrooving gun um, and seeing if it'll help them well you're not they're not going to recap the tires uh, there are certain places that will recap 19.5's um, this group wasn't planning on doing it um, so once they get down to a certain tread depth um, it would be a great investment to get the machine because they can go probably a little deeper than this and it would last them you know a couple more months depending on what, what they were doing definitely don't recommend doing it on the steer tire just on um, on the drives or trailers um, but you know great investment for somebody that wants to just go a little bit further that they're, they're this tire is worn you're gonna take it out of service you're gonna put a new one or you can regroove a few lines and keep it for a few more months is it an investment yes if you are a um, service tech is it an investment for you most definitely uh, the way I charge is basically per line or just a base fee per tire uh, if they start to get into lugs or anything like that then I start to charge more but if we're just doing straight uh, lines like this it's basically just like say example this one it would be per line um, but there, there's a minimum so there's some tires that got more lines but I just let the customer know um, so there is a great investment in the machine as far as making money or saving you money depending on which um, which end you're on alright guys so you just watched a little bit of that video I put together for the part two of the regrouping just a little continuation of the, the, the first video um, it was a viewer that wanted to see some 19.5's done just to show you can be done um, just to keep note um, for some of you guys out there regrouping isn't for everybody um, it, it all depends on the the situation and circumstances um, for that customer me being a sir on the service end 
um, it's something I offer uh, do I offer it to everybody no is it for everybody no um, should you go out there and get a gun you know and start regrooving no um, it's just something that's that's part of the business I wanted to show you um, you know there's plenty of other stuff tire siping tire trim that nobody knows about either but um, once you see a video like whoa um, so I just want to show you it um, some of you guys that are doing regrooving um, you know it, it's kind of a lost art not too many people are doing it anymore but uh, just keep you know keep in mind um, it was just to show you guys another part of the tire business and what goes on out there um, appreciate you watching if you got any questions or anything just email me and um, appreciate the support Thank you.